Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 1453, Tuesday, February the 13th, and we are back in the Void Rift today. Let's navigate there. Nightmare difficulty. Let, yes, let's start it out. While we're navigating, smash that subscribe button. We're going to do a walkthrough. We're going to do a step-by-step walkthrough. This is uh, Shadow Keeper, I think. It's the Selene phase. So I'm going to go through every single stage. Chaos Dominion. Cool. Might use that. Might not. We'll see. I'm going to go through every single stage, step-by-step, step, kind of talk you through what the different champs do, why we, why we do what we do, where we're going to place different champs. This is not a minimum gear requirements or minimum champion requirements or any sort of challenge video like that. It's just walking you through all of the stages, explaining what the monsters do and how they interact and the different things that you should consider and, you know, putting a tank here, putting a fighter there, that sort of thing to explain uh, how best to utilize the stage to your advantage. So I have not done any of these manually since they came out the first week. So I'm going to be learning a little bit of it as we go. And that's okay. That's part of the process for anyone. So let's engage here and see what we've got. So a normal kind of general rule of thumb for a lot of stages is two healers, two tanks, and then kind of four flex DPS spots, usually two ranged fighters and two long range like marksmen or mage types, but it really depends on what the stage is. So I, I don't remember what this, was, this stage was off the top of my head. I'm going to just start it and, and we'll see. We'll see if we need to adjust. It's taking a little bit to load. Okay, so we have enemies coming from all four corners. Let's place a tank to defend our soul core. I don't remember the timeline of everything. All right, these these adjudicators, uh, you want to do physical damage on them. See, they have very low normal defense, high magic resistance. So you want to do normal uh, damage or piercing damage as opposed to magic damage. Um, but the thing that hurts for them is after a monster's death, its soul remains in place. They eat those souls and they get stronger and they regenerate their health. So you want to keep them away from doing that. You want to kill them fast. So I'm going to use uh, a piercing damage here to, uh, I'm going to have Silas facing down, have piercing damage so that he can attack before the enemy gets to, let's get him. Oh, I didn't get heals out soon enough. Okay. That's part of the process. We're remembering. Let's slow this down a little bit. So let's get our tank out. And then to give us a little bit more time for that adjudicator to get around, I'm going to place Silas further down. That way I have more time to get a, a support champ, a healer on the board. I want, I'm going to place Elo in here. I'm placing her first, even though I don't need more heals right now for the extra rage regen. But you will probably need a second healer in this pocket, depending on how you have folks set up. I don't remember the exact layout of everyone. So let's see here. Let's play through this a little slowly. I'm going to have Setrum facing up because Silas, he's facing left, so he'll be able to take care of uh, anyone coming from... He's really focusing on that top left since that's where that adjudicator came from first. Setrum's going to be able to help take care of the right side before anyone can get to him. This adjudicator can target this uh, fighter position back here. If you place someone there, you'll need to make sure they're getting healed. Oh, I didn't have anyone healing Setrum. There you go. 
So if you want to use this tile here, make sure your healer is covering to the right to cover both of these DPS positions, and then your second healer can cover your tank. I'll probably be able to get away with it just because my Silas is so strong, but uh, assuming you're trying to clear this for the first time, actually place your uh, positions, uh, your your champs positions effectively so that they can defend. So we had one adjudicator top left to begin, one adjudicator bottom left. So this is where, at this point, what I what you would want to do ideally is you would want to have someone here to take care of that adjudicator before they got into these souls to really ramp up their their attack. I'm probably not going to need to worry about it just because my Silas is so strong. I'm going to ult with him, and that'll take care of both of them. But if you're not over-geared for this content, then you would have wanted someone on this tile to face left to take care of both of those adjudicators before they can get to those souls. And then you can have... Uh, that, that would be the easiest way to do it. Let's pick this up. There we go. All right. So tank if you need it, heal your DPS, have a DPS facing the bottom left and top left. That's where the adjudicators are coming from. Those are the biggest threat. The little the little attackers are, are easy no matter who you're using. So big one for that. You definitely want one tank in case you're not killing everything fast enough. You definitely want at least one healer, but maybe two, depending on your setup, and at least two long-range DPS, ideally normal and piercing damage, to take care of those adjudicators coming from the top left and the bottom left. We've got the same team here. Not sure how it's set up. We're going to find out. Okay, so if I remember correctly, we have little monsters coming from the left and then we have adjudicators coming from the top left and the top right. I'm pretty sure. I wanna block that guy. Let's see here. I don't remember how this is set up at all. That won't work. Okay. Where can I place my fighters on the board? Anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to place Zilla too. She's a ranged fighter. She ults quickly and she can take care of all of these little guys. So I don't need to worry about it. After that, adjudicators will start coming from either the top left or the top right. I don't remember which, but I'm going to place Silas. There, so that he can hit either lane, either this adjudicator or the top right adjudicator, whichever one. I don't know if he will hit Zilla 2 before Silas kills him, so we might need to pull her to keep her cost. Nope, no issues there. So the other thing that I want, right? So there's two different ways to do this. If you have um, some strong range DPS, like a Silas and a Setrum, right? I've got them down here so that they can target. Um, I've got them targeting the middle so that they can hit the folks coming from the middle left and they're covering the top left and top right lanes of those adjudicators. But if you're going to use these top ones, whether you're covering down or you're covering inside, either way, if you're going to do that, you have to have heals because the adjudicators will attack these top tiles. So you have to be healing them if you're going to use them. And that wasn't enough heals, obviously. That's okay. Okay, so they hit hard. 
So I'm gonna need, in order to do that, I just need to have an ult ready. That's an easy, easy fix. And this is part of the process, right? Like I said, I haven't, I haven't done these for a while, so we're kind of figuring it out together. And that's okay. So I'm gonna get Zilla 2 down first, right? I want a ranged fighter. If you don't have a strong Zilla 2 that can take care of these uh, monsters that come out of here, then then put down uh, a tank and some DPS down here at your tank. That way they won't get, you'll have more time to build an ult on the back end before they get to you. And if they happen to get to your tank, they won't make it to the soul core. That's the other option here if you don't have someone strong enough to take him in the beginning. Let's pick this up a little bit. I might have placed Cetrum too early. We'll see if I have time for Halloween. There we go. And I should have enough time just to kill this guy with normal attacks because I have Elo in there healing. Since I killed the Adjudicator with normal attacks, I was able to save Silas's ult. I don't need anyone on that right side yet. Whoops, I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's because I'm on two times speed. If I'm walking through this, I should really slow it down. Because I'm missing stuff trying to relearn it. So let's place our fighter. Cover the top lane. And this is, you know, kind of a higher risk, higher reward sort of thing if you can pull it off because you're not giving the adjudicators time to get down to those souls um, by covering this way. You can absolutely cover on this end. You just have to be able to nuke the adjudicators a little bit quicker. I'm gonna save Silas's ult for the next one. I'm gonna keep Zilla 2's ult for those tanks that have more health. This way Zilla 2 doesn't die. There we go. Just like that. Now I have Cetrum's ult ready for this next wave and for the adjudicator coming from the top left. I have Silas's ult for the wave coming from the left and the other adjudicator just in case. Zilla 2's ult ready for the next wave. And then Cetrum and Silas's ult ready for the last two adjudicators.
There we go. Silas got it done. All right, so if you want to block up front, uh, make sure you have enough heals there. If you want to actually use some tanks on the back end, right? Same thing. You're going to need some, some DPS. Um, I would say if you're going to tank on the right side, then you want to have your DPS up on top facing uh, the adjudicators, either inside or outside. It doesn't really matter which. That way you can kill them up top before they come down to all of those souls in the middle. But that would probably be the easiest way to do it. I just continued with the hard way because that was my first thought. This match is basically your gold raid. So you just want a lot of AoE damage. Throw a couple fighters down, depending on how strong your AoE mages are, whether you need one, two, three, whatever the case may be, throw a couple of them down, and then throw all of your AoE mages down, and just do work. Why am I defaulting to two times speed? I don't know. And then just use ults as necessary, right? If you're even remotely struggling with this, then you know slow it down to one time speed. Uh, but you shouldn't be because these these stages are way easier than the rest of the the phase. So any of the other stages that you're doing, this one is easier. So you shouldn't struggle with it. This one is pretty simple. And then we'll get back to the actual stages that we got to think about. Make sure we grab everything along the way. All right. All right. Left side, what do they do? <clears throat> Detonates upon death, dealing damage, reduces the healing they receive. Okay. Defense and magic resistance are the same. All right, so since he's coming around here pretty quick, I'm going to get a tank on the board. I'm going to get some heals for said tank because I don't know what's coming. We've got some archers. There's an adjudicator. That's what we don't want. Let's get Silas on the board. That way we can start doing some damage and we're prioritizing Silas there for his piercing damage so that he can hit that adjudicator there. I don't remember where else they come from. We'll see. I'm gonna put a, hmm. I don't remember where everything comes from. I'm gonna put a ranged fighter behind the tank, assuming that folks are going to make their way there. So yeah, we have so far, you know, the little mobs that we don't really care about, they're coming from all directions. An adjudicator came from the top middle and now the top right. Those are the ones that we really care about. We did not get him before he recovered his health. So we probably should have ulted. Yeah. That's fine. That is an easy fix. And that's part of testing it, right? Because you want to hold on to your ults until you actually need to use them. So that was just me testing to see if I could get him before 
before I needed to use it. Knowing that all of these don't do very much damage, I'm just going to put the DPS champs down first. Because I know I don't need heals yet. Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to put Cetrum over here. And then just in case, he'll probably get targeted by archers coming from that side. So that way I can have heals on Cetrum and on my tank. And then I'll get Vortex to be able to heal the tank and Silas. Let's use Silas's ult now on the other Adjudicator before he can come blast everyone to bits by eating those souls. Silas can take care of that Adjudicator by himself. That's probably the optimal way to do this is to have a, a marksman a marksman here where Silas is so that they can take out the adjudicator coming from the middle early and they can save their ult for the adjudicator on the right side and then everyone else can can cover wherever the little guys aren't much of oops I was supposed to ult the little guys aren't much of a threat so literally anywhere you want to place them, just make sure that they've got some heals on them to cover the archers because the archers are going to attack your platform tiles. So this one's really simple. Really, really simple. So two heals, two marksmen. That's really all you need for that stage. Oh, one tank. Sorry. One tank, two heals, two marksmen. That's really all you need for that one. I have step-by-step -step walkthroughs on other phases also. I've done Aracha, I've done Crimson Star and Torador so far. I'm going to do all of them. This one just happens to be today's. Okay, so this one I remember. I started with Zilla 2 here. Oh, I missed it because I wasn't paying attention. So I remember this one was tough for me at first. So I'm going to start with Zilla 2 uh, as a ranged fighter to take care of the 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 little monsters coming from either side and the first adjudicator here now she actually there we go i need that monster to proc to kill the adjudicator because um uh you need normal right normal or piercing damage and since zilla 2 does magic damage she won't do enough on the adjudicator by herself but she'll take care of the little guys really easily so use a wailing skull if you're going to use zilla 2 and then I pull her, get a second ranged fighter there that will take care of um, the next adjudicator that's not doing magic damage. At this point, I need to start covering stuff. So the I want to protect the soul core. And then I need to cover both sides, top and bottom of my tank. So I'm going to have... Silas covering one side. I'm going to get some heals on the tank so that he doesn't die. There we go. Unyielding. That's fine. And I'm going to get more DPS on the bottom side. more heals. So the whole point of this is you've got uh, a ranged fighter doing physical damage to the adjudicators coming from the left, and then you have two marksmen um, taking on the monsters that come from the top left, bottom left, towards the tank, and these adjudicators that come from the right side. 
You don't have to use Cetrum and Silas. You can use others also. You can use Hex. You can use whoever. They're just who I had on the team. But the key takeaway, right, is the ranged fighter for the adjudicators from the left. That way they never make it to the souls in the middle. And uh, marksman to cover the top side. Uh, marksman to cover the, the top right. Marksman to cover the bottom right. We're going to ult with Setrum a little earlier since he's backed up. He's not nearly as strong as Silas. There we go. And that's it. That one's simple. Ranged fighter for the middle. I like starting with Zilla 2, but uh, if you don't start with Zilla 2, just use your normal ranged fighter and then place your tank down earlier. That's that's the easy solution for that. Ranged fighter for the left adjudicators, two marksmen for the right side adjudicators, two heals, one tank. And the boss, the Shadow Keeper. All right, so this is who I have on the team. It's the same team I've been using this whole time. Two heals, two ranged fighters, two marksmen, one tank, and an extra bonus Lord Mage there. So the easiest way to do this, the easiest way to beat any boss is to nuke them. All right, now whatever nukes you have, that's fine. You can bring Dolores in here to make your nukes bigger and badder. That's fine. You can, uh, whether it's Cetrum, whether it's Silas, whether it's Hex, whether it's Zilla 2, whatever your nukes are, whatever nukes you can use, bring them, nuke the boss down. What I'm going to do first, I'm pretty sure that this marksman is the only mob that comes out before the boss. The boss comes from this bottom left. Oh no, there's more. One more comes from the right side. Okay. So I'm going to uh, place Zilla 2 so that she can hit uh, both of these. And I'm going to get some... Well, I don't know if I need heals, actually. I don't think I'll need heals for them. So I'm going to get Silas on the board for to nuke the boss. And I'm going to get... Mm. Yeah, let's assume that I can't do this with Silas, right? That I don't have a crazy Silas and I need two nukes, right? Whoever your second nuke is, whether that's Hex can go down here. I could have put Cetrum down here. Whoever it is, just make sure they're in range of the boss. Zilla 2 strong enough to take care of those mobs. Let's use our ult. Assume that I need two nukes here. And now uh, Adjudicator's coming. He's going to hit hard. He will kill Zilla 2. So I need to pull her and get a tank down and get some heals on that tank. There we go. Got the boss down. Now I need to pull my my nukes whoever that was whether i used twin fiend whether i used you know it doesn't matter um whoever it was oh i might not have someone to place here for because i pulled zilla too yeah i mean let's get two heals let's see if aracha can stay alive Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay, so I need, I need, that's a, that's a pretty easy fix. Let's start with our tank so that I don't need to pull Zilla 2. I'm going to get Silas on the board. I'm going to get Zilla 2 on the board. 
that way I've got two fighters up there. Silas is doing what Silas does. If you don't have a Silas that's that strong, right, just throw a Dolores in there. Make your nuke stronger. Use uh, <laughs> anyone else. I'm going to have Cetrum down here. Zilla 2 uh, will not be able to kill this guy, but that monster might. The, the Wailing Skull proc didn't quite get it done, but Cetrum is going to be able to. The other option here to make it more of an optimal run I think the way to make it more of an optimal run is just to have two tanks. I think that's the easier way to do it. I think I'm making this way harder than we need to. Like I said, I haven't done this since it came out. So let's try this again. Let's say that we don't want Zilla 2. We want our we want our lords, we want our heals, we want our primary DPS, right? These could be any number of folks, but your two primary DPS, whoever that is, and then let's say that I wanted a second tank. Um, whoever, right? Uh, I'm gonna pick. Uh, if if you're dying, right? Regulus has an un, an unyielding effect. There's there's lots of good options. I'm just gonna throw Reeve because he can also do a little bit of damage on the uh, the little guys. No, I'll pick a legit tank. Might as well use what. I would use. So I'm going to get my single tank down to prevent the I'm going to place Silas down here. That way he can nuke as soon as the boss comes out. That'll save time. Since these first little mobs are weaker, right? I'm gonna get my two tanks on the board because they're not worried about them. I'm not worried about them. Silas do will do what Silas does. Oh, he didn't do what Silas does. Let's get some heals on our tanks. There we go. Let's get our second DPS doing work. And now our second DPS, right, whoever that was, can mop up these mobs now that we have two actual tanks there doing their job tanking, blocking folks, and now this map is much, much, much easier. If you can't keep them alive with one healer, use two. But at this point, it's over, right? Whether you needed, um, if you needed, if you could take out the boss in one nuke here or two nukes, whatever the case may be, stay off the ground, she'll kill them fast, right? Uh, now I can place my second DPS anywhere to really finish this cuz now it's now it's not going to be any issue whatsoever. I don't even need to ult at this point. So, two tanks nuke the boss. Have at least one set of heals, two if you need it, but there's some wiggle room there. So, minimum two tanks, one heal, two uh, long range DPS. Stay away from the fighters. Really easy. And if you need, if you wanna, if you need more nuke damage on the boss, right? You can use a Twin Fiend or a Pyros. You can use Dolores. You can use Hex. 
um, any of those champs, right? Any combination of them. Let's actually take out folks here. Any combination of them, you can use them all together to nuke the boss down because you only need one heal and two tanks and then the rest can all be nukes for the boss and then you can reposition as necessary. So that one's actually pretty simple. Once I once I failed at it and actually had to think about it. But that is phase one, the Shadow Keeper. If you appreciated this, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will be doing the rest of uh, Nightmare Void Rift. Like I said, I've already done Aracha. I've already done Crimson Star. I've already done Torador. I still need to do Lasir and uh the the i don't know the tentacle squid guy boss so i'm gonna do them too check them all out anywhere you're struggling if you're still struggling after watching the videos hit me up in the comments join the discord i will help you if i can thank you so much for your time i will see you in the next one